Transport phenomena in biosystem, module 6, equation of change for isothermal systems, part 2, segment 3, dimensional analysis of equation of change. With me, Yusuf from School of Life Sciences and Phenology, Institute Technology, Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about equations of change in terms of substantial derivative and application of equation of change to solve flow problems. In this segment, we will discuss about dimensional analysis of equation of change. Suppose that we have taken experimental data or made photographs of the flow through some systems that cannot be analyzed by solving the equations of change analytically. An example of such a system is the flow of a fluid through an orifice meter in a pipe. Suppose now that we want to scale up or scale down the experimental system in order to build a new one which exactly has the same flow patterns. First of all, we need to have geometric similarity, that is the ratios of all dimensions of the pipe and the orifice plates in the original system and in the scale up or scale down system must be the same. In addition, we must have dynamic similarity, that is, the dimensionless group such as the Reynolds number in the differential equations and the boundary conditions must be the same. The study of dynamic similarity is best understood by writing the equations of change along with the boundary and the initial conditions in dimensionless form. For simplicity, we restrict the discussion in this segment to fluids of constant density and viscosity, and the equation of change can be expressed by equation 621 and equation 622. In most flow systems, one can identify the following scale factors, a characteristic length, a characteristic velocity, and a characteristic modified pressure. Then we can define dimensionless variable and differential operators as shown in equation 623 until equation 627. When the equations of change in equation 621 and 622 are rewritten in terms of the dimensionless quantities, they become equation 628 and equation 629. In this dimensionless equation, the four scale factors appear in one dimensionless group. The reciprocal of this group is named after a famous fluid dynamics as given by equation 630. The magnitude of this dimensionless group gives an indication of the relative importance of inertial and viscous force in a fluid system. From the two forms of the equation of motion given in equation, 629, we can gain some perspective on the special forms of the Navier-Stokes equation. Equation 629 gives the Euler equation when the Reynolds number approaches infinity, whereas equation 629b gives the creeping flow equation when the Reynolds number is less than 1. Additional dimensionless group may arise in the initial and boundary conditions. Two that appear in problems with fluid fluid interfaces are given by equations 631 and 632. The Fraud number contains the gravitational acceleration, whereas the Weber number contains the interfacial tension which may enter into the boundary conditions. For the next module, we will have a creative presentation. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.